Okay. So, I recently bought a new film cartridge for this electric, a ribbon cartridge. Correctable. And I followed all of the steps when I bought this. I followed all the steps to install it using this original manual I found online, changing your IBM's electric ribbon for the Model 71, which this one is. So I try to put it in in the in the uh, diagram in this manual. Let me move my camera back. So in this manual here, the ribbon goes through this way. So it goes through the first. You. Uh, Put it around the tension post right there, then go through the guide, through the guide, and then it uh, comes on the inside of that metal post there, the first metal post, and then it goes on the outside of the second metal post right there. You the printout's not very, it's a black and white printer that I have, so you can't see it as well, but then the ribbon goes through these rollers and then comes back around to the spool. I tried that twice and I broke one of the cartridges um, that I had for it doing that, trying to install it uh, in the correct IBM way, but each time I tried installing it that way it just uh, became a big mess, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, but it just became a huge mess and just was terrible. I'll show you what happened. But this is what happened. <laughs> this is actually from the ribbon that's in there now, so I lost a lot off of that. But um, the one thing that I was having trouble with also was removing these ribbons. So this side I was having trouble getting that off with the, uh, the spool guide spindle. But actually, which I'm not going to do it now, but you're just supposed to tw turn clockwise, and then it comes off. But I'm not going to mess with it now since it's working right now. Mm -hmm. But when I tried putting it in uh, this way, you know, past the guide, and then uh, inside of that post, and then outside of this post here, and then through these rollers, I tried doing that and the ribbon in here would just keep spooling out of the between of the uh, rollers here between the rollers um, but just unspool itself as I typed and I thought did I mess something up with the typewriter when I was um, pulling this out because I pulled this pretty forcefully um, the other ribbon that I had I pulled it out pretty this one also and this ribbon I got a refund for because I thought it was defective because it wasn't typing very well which it is old too you can see up uh, on my page there it wasn't wasn't typing all the way at first so it may part of it may have been defective uh, defective but um, so I just thought you know what this is ridiculous I'm just gonna try and put this in the way that the uh, the way that it was in there when I got the typewriter, the way that the previous owner had it in. So I just went, uh, this is not the proper way, but it's the only way I could get it to work. Uh, let's see, I don't know if it's showing up in the camera there. Um, so it goes that way and then comes right into the spindle, comes through the guides and then comes into a little spindle here, the uh, ribbon, plastic ribbon spindle. Um, so that was the only way I could get it to install, and the problem with that is that the ribbon is used up a lot quicker when you have it um, have it in that way, because the letters aren't printing. So yeah, the letters probably will not show up on here, but I need to get a better light. I'm in a different room making this video, but uh, let's see. 
Um, yeah, I guess you're not going to be able to see that. But, but anyway, there's more space in between the letters. Don't know why that's not showing up. That should show up. Yeah, you can kind of barely see it in there. But there's more more space between the letters when you're typing them. I'll have to show an example of that. Let me take my camera off the tripod. Because I want to show what it's doing. Okay, so let's see if I can get this in here. Let's see if I can get this, okay. Come on. Okay, so this is what it's doing. See how there's more space in between each letter? Installing the ribbon this way causes the ribbon to be used up a lot quicker. And that's because it's not going through these rollers. Control this, These uh, rollers aren't controlling the amount. But when I, each time I try to put it through there in the correct way, uh, I can't get the machine to work. So it just doesn't it doesn't wind up inside of here. So I don't know if the right now it's winding up. But and also another tip I found a lot of these spools that I've seen it's a, um, the ribbon is just barely attached when you get it to this spindle, to the clear spindle. Um, I don't know if that's the correct term, but it's just barely attached to the spindle and the ribbon's just kind of hanging there. But if your ribbon comes detached from the spindle, what you can do to fix that problem is um, you can just put some tape in there. Like You can kind of see where I did it, but I just taped the ribbon back onto the spindle. You just have to make sure it's uh, going in the same direction on each side. Yeah, so you just have to make sure it's going on in the correct direction. But I'm glad I got this working again. I was worried that I messed something up, and I'm kind of disappointed I can't get in the correct way, but I'm actually um, buying some old stock um, ribbon uh, from eBay. This is the correctable type, as you saw in the, uh, from the box. This is the correctable. I guess I didn't show this side, actually. So, this is what it says. But the ribbon wasn't working correctly when I first got it, so I did get a refund on it. So, it's technically a free ribbon that I have here. But I have a box of uh, six ribbons coming from eBay. Um, and when I bought them, it looked like everything was okay. But when I re, uh, when I looked at the pictures again, they had some water stains on uh, on them on the box actually. So I'm hoping that I will be able to fix that. So I'm gonna buy. Or I'm hoping that they're working actually. I'm hoping that the water stain um, isn't from a flood or something like that. And I just want want them to work <laughs> because they're kind of expensive. The ribbons are a lot more expensive actually for, I may have mentioned that already, but they're more expensive for this electric one than this electric two, at least on eBay, because IBM doesn't make these anymore. I think IBM should go back into the business of ribbons. I know it may not make sense, but because not many people have typewriters anymore, but IBM made very good quality. And for people who are still using these typewriters, you know, IBM 
seem like they made the best ribbons. And also the General Ribbon Company has some good ones. But I just wanted to post this update on my channel and just say that it's working now the best that it can. Um, I'm not going to try to put... That's why. That's actually why I bought more ribbons, because I'm not going to try to put it on the correct way now. Um, I'm not going to put it on and 